set 40 miles north of Edinburgh on the mouth of the Barry Burn, Carnoustie's identity is as entwined with golf as the threads of a tartan kilt. Asking residents what there is to do besides golf leads to plenty of pregnant pauses and furrowed foreheads. Even the local football club are nicknamed the Gaufers. The first thing that strikes you stepping off the three-carriage trundler from Edinburgh is just how small and sleepy the town seems considering how 200,000-plus people are about to descend upon it. Walking down the high street on Wednesday, you could easily escape the fact that a major sporting championship is due to start in 24 hours' time less than a Rory McIlroy drive away, serving as a commuter. Town to Dundee, 11 miles to the east, Carnoustie, with a population of around 11,000 people, mainly revolves around a glorious beach and an adjacent mile-long high street refreshingly full of independent pubs, cafes and shops. With the white sand and turquoise water, you could, if you squinted hard enough and ignored the bracing wind coming off the North Sea, take yourself to be in the Mediterranean. During the early 20th century, the establishment of a railway station allowed it to become a day-tripping destination and was even known as the Brighton of the North. The advent of cheap package holidays to the true Mediterranean put paid to that moniker.